Hello and welcome to another RPG in a Box tutorial. In this video, we'll be learning about emissive colors in the voxel editor. Emissive colors emit light, and you can use them to add a glowing effect to voxels in your voxel models. It's a really cool lighting effect that differs from a light source, and in this tutorial, we'll be using it in the map editor. If you'd like to see an overview of what we'll be covering, or skip to a particular topic, take a look at the chapter listing in the description below. Now let's open up RPG in a Box and get started. I am in the voxel editor with a new copy of the default example game loaded, and I have the default Christmas tree model open. I thought the Christmas tree would be a good model to use to demonstrate this effect, since Christmas trees aren't light sources like a torch would be, but they often have lights on them. First, I'm going to change the black and blue voxels on the tree into colors more suitable for Christmas tree lights. I will use the second blue and the second pink. And let's change the star to yellow. Adding an emissive color is very simple and works the same way as adding transparency to a color. Simply have the color you want to add selected. You can do this by using the eyedropper tool on the color you wish to add. Then click on the green plus button next to the emissive colors dropdown. Now your selective color is emissive. To remove the emissive effect from a color, simply select the color you wish to remove the effect from in the emissive colors dropdown and click the red X button to the right of the dropdown. Let's add the colors for the star and lights to the emissive colors list. Now, all three colors are set to be emissive. Like the other mesh effects, this effect isn't viewable in the voxel editor, but you can preview it using the preview game mesh function. Just click the button on the toolbar, save, and we have a lit Christmas tree. If I switch between the voxel model in the editor and the game mesh, we can see that the glow tends to wash out the colors of the Christmas tree lights, just like it does in real life. So you might need to adjust the base color of your emissive voxels to achieve the desired effect once they're glowing. There is an additional setting for emissive colors in the map editor. So let's open up the default example game's overworld map to check it out. I have the overworld map open, and I'm going to turn off the display of the grid, navigation paths, and markers, just so we can see things a bit better. And since there isn't a Christmas tree model in the map, we're going to need to place one. So let's go to the Object tab, select the Christmas tree, and place it somewhere nice and visible. We've got our tree placed, and the glow effect is a little evident, but it would stand out a lot more if the map were darker. So let's change the lighting of the map now to really highlight the emissive effect. Let's open up the Map Properties tab, scroll down to Ambient Light Settings, and change the intensity to 0.05. And let's also go to directional light settings and change its intensity to 0.05 as well. Nice, it is much darker now and much easier to see the glowing voxels. Right now our emissive voxels are bright in the darkness, but they don't appear to be emitting any light. To do that, we'll need to turn on glow at the bottom of the map properties tab. Turning on glow will expand the glow panel and open up a row of seven checkboxes. By default, the middle three will be enabled. I am going to uncheck all of them so we can look at them individually. Each glow layer will add a layer or halo of glow around your emissive voxels. I'll zoom in on the tree so we can see the effect better. The layers get progressively wider as you go along. First, it's a very small, almost not visible halo. Second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh, which is very wide. Glow layers can also be combined. So if you'd like to have a nice soft halo around the whole tree using the seventh layer, but then a tighter, more intense color emission around the voxels by layering the first three layers, you can do that. We zoom out a bit, we can see that it's given the tree a very cool effect. Emissive colors 
like many things in RPG in a Box, are fun and simple to use, but have a lot of potential. I hope this tutorial has given you the information you need to start using emissive voxels in your projects. If you've enjoyed this tutorial, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up. Feel free to leave any comments or suggestions down below, and if you'd like to see more of these tutorials, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching and for your continued support of RPG in a Box. If you would like to purchase RPG in a Box or try out its free demo, check out the links in the description below. And if you'd like to support me as I create these tutorials and Justin as he works on RPG in a Box, please consider becoming a patron of our Patreon. You can find a link to our Patreon in the video description below. And most importantly, remember that you are awesome. And I hope that you have an awesome day. Bye-bye!